Hello there. Um, I'm Kevin Mills, and I've been a senior here at Garden City High School for quite a while now. And here I'm with Mrs. Shimsky. She is our high school's drama teacher and the director of this spring musical coming up called Little Shop of Horrors. Can you tell us more about Little Shop of Horrors, Mrs. Shimsky? Well, Little Shop of Horrors is about a boy named Seymour who finds a small, unusual plant one day. And he just happens to work in a florist shop with Mr. Mushnick, who's a grumpy old man. Lousy, my life is a living hell. You, archers, off the stoop. And the flower shop is on Skid Row. They haven't seen a lot of business in a while, so Seymour brings this strange and unusual plant into the florist shop. And all of a sudden, before you know it, customers are coming in. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice that strange and interesting plant. What is it? It's Naji too. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. <laughs> but then it starts to wilt. And Seymour can't figure out how to keep this plant alive. Soon, Seymour realizes that the plant will grow if it's fed blood. It's kind of gross, and uh, really, as the show goes on, um, Seymour falls in love with another girl there named Audrey. Back to me. Hope you don't mind. After Seymour realizes that it takes blood to feed the plant, he is in a dilemma because he knows that I beg your pardon. Killing people is wrong. However, if he does, the plant grows and he is becoming famous. So it's really do the wrong thing and become famous or do the right thing and not kill off people and just live a whole hum life. We have 32 kids in the cast that all go here to the high school and they are all part of the show. So we have about 80 people working the, on this show all together. That sounds like a very awesome show. It is. It is a very awesome show. We all be We expect to see it well and matter as a matter of fact it opens this week it is Thursday April 7th Friday April 8th and Saturday April 9th at 7 p.m. and also Saturday at 2 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. something I know people are really gonna wonder is how much they're gonna have to pay to see this the tickets are only $10, and I say only because if you compare it to other school districts' musicals, most of them start at about $12 and some even $15. You can get your tickets on sale at the door um, on Tuesday and Wednesday from 2.45 to 5 o'clock. And you can also buy tickets the day of the show, an hour before the show time. Well, sounds great, and I'm sure people can't wait to see it. Well, I can't wait for people to see it now. The kids have worked long, long hours for the past 10 weeks, and we are ready for an audience to see it and enjoy it. Well, you heard it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday, at times going from 7 p.m. and 2 p.m. So go get it!